Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are March 26th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we always check out and get updated on space weather, severe weather, and earthquakes from around the world, as well as disasters. Starting out here looking at our sun, 193 angstroms. Not much to talk about except for a building, equatorial coronal hole. The two sunspots we were looking at yesterday have since dissipated. Looking here, 304 angstroms. Here you're able to see where the coronal hole is building. Let's get to earthquakes here. Last 24 hours has been pretty busy. Most recent being earthquakes in Dominican Republic as the earthquake swarm continues. But around the world, you can see the earthquakes have been evenly distributed somewhat. A lot of fours around the planet. 4.6 here, Pacific rise. As well, 4.6 triple junction region. Moving here to the North American plate, 3.8 in Texas. 2.9 California. Moving north to Petrolia, California. And the earthquake aftershocks pretty much for the after the 7.5 yesterday. Looking at 4.6 here. And at 4.7. 4.2 in Rush or sorry, Japan. 5.4 Marianas Trench. 105 kilometer depth. And then still watching deep earthquakes across Indonesia. A lot of volcanic movement. Please look forward to the volcanic activity report coming today. I'm working on that as we speak. Watching movement across Eurasia plate. 4.4 there, Tajikistan. 4.6 in Greece. And as well, this 5.0 reported in Algeria. And that's where that intense low pressure system is on the Mediterranean. 5.1 here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And that is the earthquakes for the last 24 hours. We'll flip over to the last seven days and have a look. I do believe we need to watch the Eurasia plate and Africa plate over the next 72 hours as well into India. Large, intense, low-pressure system spinning across the Northern Hemisphere. Stay aware and prepared. How was everybody holding out during our quarantine? Two weeks, lockdown. Hope everybody is doing well. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center where we're going to look at the most recent disasters from around the world. Not much to talk about except for flood and fires. So we'll just get an update on the latest volcanoes. Uh, Sabancaya in Peru, Tacono in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Asosan in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Ibu in Indonesia. So that's all in the last six hours. Those eight volcanoes got updated. Again, look forward to the volcanic activity report coming this afternoon. Across the United States, flooding conditions continue. A few alerts were dropped as things are starting to dry out after that last system has moved through the Carolina states. But there is another atmospheric river of moisture coming in off the Pacific here through the California-Mexico border. So stay aware and prepared. You could have some intense weather coming through on that convergence line. Watching the systems that are, or sorry, here I was I, I was looking for that update on the volcano notice that I got the other day. I haven't seen anything on it yet. I haven't found any articles either, so I'm going to dig deeper. Across South America, watch for intense thunderstorms and downpours over the next few days. Daily evaporation rains will be intensified 
Look forward to the five-day forecast coming up soon. And then watching the storms continue to rage across the Mediterranean into Greece. Watch for intense weather. And as well, this deep lower level trough heading across Turkey and Afghanistan and into Pakistan, India. They've been reporting severe weather for about a month now in that area. First, it was the heavy snow. Now it's just heavy rains. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, starting here overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta. As temperature variants here up and down warm during the day really cool at night long-range forecast showing snow moving in for Alberta colder temperatures across the north as that low moves into Hudson Bay and then watching the convergence line it's going to develop a Colorado low which will be affecting northeastern United States and the Great Lakes later in the week Quite a bit of snow falling across the Rockies right now, higher elevations. Coastal rains, heavy winds across British Columbia, Vancouver. And you can see here, warmer temperatures during the day, but there's still a cold high pressure ridge moving in after the five day forecast. Overlooking the Atlantic, high pressure ridge dominating, drying things out across Europe. Deep lower level systems in the Mediterranean. Watch the convergence line from that cold high pressure ridge. I want to thank all of my friends and family for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are so close to 10,000 fam family members. I appreciate all the love and support that everybody gives every day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Overlooking Russia, they've got three winter storms to deal with right now, straight across the country. Cold temperatures lingering around. And watch for intense rain across China, which is a good thing because my friend Steve Cassidy, who lives in China, is dealing with a lot of forest fires around him. He sent me a message and some photos last night. And this is, the, he said, about two to four kilometers away from his home. Some forest fires have ignited and it looks like they're a little out of control. But they're dealing with quite an intense heat wave right now across China and smoky conditions. And look at the forecast throughout the week, 39 to 41 degrees. <whistles> stay aware and prepared and stay hydrated. Steve Cassidy, thanks again for sharing those pictures. Overlooking Australia, not much to talk about. Coastal rains, east side. Africa, not much to talk about as well. Daily evaporation rains, heavier amounts, Madagascar and east coast towards Somalia. South America. Same thing, daily evaporation rains, but watch for it to be intensified in the long range forecast. Three to four days from now, you could see some very heavy rains throughout Colombia. Watch for flash flooding. Friends and family around the world, I pray for all of you every day. And I pray that everybody is coping well during the quarantine. I hope that we are all better humans after all this. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Much love to you all. Again, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.